Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy DJ Mo, and today we are back in the kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fillet a catfish the easiest and the best way. We're also going to be cleaning a bluegill, well, technically it's a panfish or sunfish. It has different names, and we're going to be cooking them. So we're going to show you the process, how to clean the fish, and how to cook it. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate every one of you that watches. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Alright, so let's get started. Let's start filling this fish. Alright guys, so to get started, we're going to need uh, a nice fillet knife. We're also going to need a brag. It's gonna help the fish to stay in place, and uh, I need a fork, and I'll show you uh, what the fork is for. Once we start skinning the fish, we're gonna need a fork. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the catfish. We got a catfish here. I'm gonna show you. This is the catfish right here. I caught this fish the other day when fishing, and I caught this one. This is actually the size that I like to eat. I don't like to eat the big ones. I always like to eat the small ones because they got less pollution and less uh, stuff on the meat. So the smaller, I mean, you don't want to eat the really little ones, but this size right here, this is the best size to eat. So a couple of things about the catfish. When you hold them, uh, they got spikes. So they got a spike on the dorsal fin over here, and they got spikes on these fins on the sides right here. So you want to make sure that you don't get spiked. You don't spike yourself on that. So I usually hold them like this. You want to push them down. And then we're going to fillet them just like that. Okay, so let's get started with this. Let's fillet this fish. And then we'll move into the other fish, uh, which is the pan fish. And we're going to clean that fish as well. So I'm going to show you how to do both. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you don't want the fish to be sliding on the board. So what I like to do is I use this rag. And I put it right here, just like that. It's gonna allow me to hold the fish, and, and, and the fish won't slide all over the place. All right. So, <clears throat> catfish have a bone right here. It's a bone. So, this is the head plate, right? But they have a bone around here, okay? And this is where the guts are. Now, honestly, I don't like to get into the gut sack or whatever so I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna grab all this meat right here so some people cut really close but then then you run the risk of going through all the guts and stuff which I don't really enjoy what I try to do is get the most meat I can get without poking that I mean you can but um, we probably will so I like to do my incision like right around here Okay, so do you first cut just like that, right? See that? And now, now you want to cut along the back, and you can feel the backbones. You're gonna feel the backbones, right? Once you get up around this area, you can go ahead and cut through, and then. Stay really close to the backbone. Alright. So I'm going to cut right here. Okay, so now I can just grab the meat and I can follow the backbone just like that. Okay, I'm going to show you. So I can lift up the meat just like this. And I can follow the backbone just like that. Now, eventually, you're gonna run into the rib cage, which is around here. Okay, so you wanna cut over the rib cage, you don't wanna cut through the rib cage. So.
Okay. So we got our first fillet right there. So I'm gonna put that aside. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Alright, remember the bones, the bones somewhere around here. And you wanna go in an angle just like that. Make that incision right there. It is really important that your knife is super sharp. It makes everything so much easier if your knife is sharp. So we're doing the same thing. We pull on the backbone. Just like that. Alright. Then again, you wanna once you get you wanna lift the meat. Just follow the backbone. Okay, then you can go all the way through. Cut right there. There we go. That's our second fillet right there. So, now technically, you can see there's not a lot of meat on this fish. So, I'm going to hand and dispose of these. Okay. This fish is done. Now we got our fillets here, but they still got skin on one side. Okay. So, take the skin off. You're going to need a fork. Alright. So, you got your fork. And you want to put the fork right at the edge of that skin right there okay so just like that okay, let me put this aside for now put your fork right at the edge of that skin okay now you want to go in an angle with your knife and it's gonna go like this Okay. Now at this point you should be able to grab the skin. Okay. This is what you end up with. No bones, no skin, white meat, catfish. Now this is the skin. Now the reason I cut really I didn't cut too close to the skin is because of that red meat right there. I don't want that red meat on my on, on my meat but on the stuff that I'm gonna eat because that red meat make it taste funny so you if I had red meat over here I would cut it off but I left it all on the skin okay some people say that that's wasting some of the meat but I prefer to have quality meat over a little bit more meat that's gonna taste funny okay so again I use my fork I hold the skin down I go with my knife in an angle and then just go like this and you fill in where the skin is okay so at this point I <clears throat> grab the skin itself and I actually look in where the skin is and the meat ends alright and there you go that's the second fillet okay so we got two beautiful fillet no skin and no bones all right i'm gonna put this on a bowl with water let them soak for a little bit and then uh while they're soaking in water we're gonna go ahead and clean the pan fish all right so we're gonna put this on a bowl let them soak for a little bit okay now we're gonna clean on panfish. Now this one is gonna be slightly different because I I don't wanna I don't wanna fillet this fish. I just wanna clean the guts out and I'm gonna uh, descale it 
and I'm gonna try to uh, cook it whole just like this okay so we're gonna cook it whole and uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut just like that I'm gonna cut all the way through Cut all the way to the top of the mouth just like that okay so now that you have that opening is you want to take all the guts out all right check this out guys if you watch my other video um when i cut this fish the fish swallowed the hook so i was wondering when that hook was and here's the hook right here it was all the way down to his stomach okay see so if I would have pulled this hook out the fish would have died the fish would have died and it would it, it would be a waste so that's why I decided to keep this fish I usually don't keep pan fish uh, all right so what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and take all the guts out starting from this part right here yeah, just make sure the inside is super clean. Okay, so now our fish is clean. But we still got the scales on it. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to descale the fish. So I'm going to use the back of my knife. Okay. You just grab the fish. And you want to go against the grid of the scales. Just like this. Alright guys, so we got our fish, uh, the catfish is dry, the panfish is dry, so we got our eggs here, I whisked some eggs, so it's going to be our egg wash, and then we got some breading right here that we're going to use to fry, uh, we're going to add some seasoning to the breading, uh, we're going to use an uh, adobo, which uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with adobo, but uh, it's a pretty good seasoning, all purpose. Uh, Especially you're Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about, adobo from Goya. And then we're going to add a little kick to it with that Old Bay seasoning. So I wanted to have a little kick. Oh, oh my God. You guys saw that happen? Okay. So hold on. Let me clean this up and we'll be back. I made a mess with the Old Bay, but again, put a little bit of Old Bay on that mix right there. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little kick to it, and then we're just gonna mix it up just a little bit. Make sure it's evenly mixed up. Okay, so now it's really simple. Okay, you grab your fish, put it on the egg wash, just like that. Let it drain a little bit. Then you're gonna put it on the breading. Okay, and you're gonna throw make sure it's completely covered. Just like that. Alright, uh, here's when some people do it twice. They go on the egg again and then come back. Uh but I just like to do it once. That's gonna be lightly breaded. That's gonna be light uh, breading on that. Okay, do the same thing over here. Okay, and go on the breading, just like that. Now, I usually use Ziploc bags to do this process because, it's, as you can see, it's really messy. Uh, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, this one, we're going to try to do the same thing, but it's going to be 
a lot lighter breading. We don't, we're not really doing too much with this. Just slightly dab it on there. Slightly dab it on there. Just gonna go ahead and use some oil. Uh, this fish shouldn't take long to cook. That's why I'm using olive oil. But if you had a lot of fish that you're frying, you wanna use a different type of oil because all the oil will burn faster so by the time we finish cooking this fish it should be okay but if I was cooking way more fish or like a, a lot of fish I wouldn't be using this type of oil because it will burn and it will taste burn eventually okay so now we're gonna let the the, uh, the oil just heat up to temperature that we need to and then we're gonna drop our fish the oil is hot um, let's go ahead and drop our fish. Alright guys, so this is about to be done. You see how it's really brown. The cap is really brown at this point. So our plate here with paper towels. Okay. Because I want to drain all that oil from that face. Alright guys. Now it's time to enjoy our hard work. Uh, see how this tastes. I'm gonna start with the catfish. I'm so curious how this turned out. And you obviously want to put some hot sauce on it. Right? That's good, guys. I'm always amazed of how good things can taste when you go out there, harvest it yourself, clean it, and cook it. I think this is delicious, to be honest with you. The catfish is actually pretty, pretty good. Okay, so if you guys are fishing out there and catch a, a decent sized catfish, I recommend you at least every now and then just keep it, clean it, cook it, and enjoy it. This is really good, man. Wow. Okay. Alright, now we're going to try the panfish. I haven't had a panfish in a long time, so I'm excited to see how it's going to taste. Super white flaky meat. Super white flaky meat. Wow. Wow. It's delicious guys. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm so happy because it makes me happy to be able to go out there, catch fish, come out, come back, clean them and cook them and eat them. It's such a connection with your food that you can't have if you go to buy fish at the store. But anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this meal. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I'll see you guys in the water.